when you think you're covered, you're not covered. It started when my son was born back in June of 2005. Shortly after he was born, they noticed that he was having breathing problems, and so they rushed him to the neonatal intensive care unit, the NICU, and he was treated in there by a doctor. And then we were both released from the hospital two days later. And we came home and I received an explanation of benefits in the mail from my insurance company that said that the doctor that had treated him in the NICU was not part of the insurance network. And so they would only consider a small portion of the charges by that doctor. So my next step was to call my insurance company and find out, you know, this was an emergency situation. I didn't choose this doctor. I didn't have a choice over the doctor. Surely you cover all these charges. And I was told, no, that's not the way it works. If it is an emergency situation and um, you don't choose the doctor, what we do is we treat them as an in-network doctor, paying significantly more than we would if it was an out-of-network doctor. But we only consider reasonable and customary charges. And the doctor is free to charge you anything that they want. They're not bound by those reasonable and customary charges because they don't have the agreement with the insurance company. In this case, the amount was over $600. The insurance company would only consider under $200 of it. And since it, I hadn't met my deductible, I was actually responsible for the full amount. But only the slightly less than $200 would be credited towards my deductible, not the full $600 that I paid. And even worse, they don't even consider the extra amount that I paid towards my out-of-pocket maximum expense for the year. So the $600 some odd dollars in the first case, they just pretend like you didn't have to pay that when you do. So I have no option to take my child to a hospital where he will be treated by somebody in my network. And I just couldn't believe that this, this was allowed to happen here in America. We spend close to 25% of our gross income on total medical expenses a year. Um, you know, it's just getting more and more expensive every year, and at some point, people aren't going to be able to afford it.